Are you all right, dear? I know how hard the holidays can be when you've just lost someone. All you want to do is lock yourself away and wait until it's over. Can I tell you something without you thinking I'm crazy? Uh, craziness doesn't bother me. You know you can tell me anything, darling. Certainly you know that by now. I do, I do. Um, it's just that sometimes I feel like Brad's still here. Here? Not still alive, but in between, like his spirit's trying to reach out to me. And I've been getting close to connecting. I've been getting really close. I told Margot about it, and she just humored me, but... Henry claims that he's talking to Brad, and he knows things, things that only Brad would know. Am I nuts? If you're nuts, I'm nuts too. I've talked to Chris all along. For 23 years I've talked to him. That's how long he's been gone. So you, you feel like he's actually here? Always. I've never told any of this to Bob, but sometimes I... I wish I might, because he worries so about my being all alone. But you're not alone. You're not alone. But let's just let it be our secret. Thank you. Thank you so much for believing me. Need any help, Margo? No, no. We put the food on the table, so, Tom, in case you get dish duty. Okay. Well, listen, I think I am going to go by the farm and be with Brad's family. I just... I want Jacob to feel like he's part of that, even though his dad's not here anymore. Yeah, yeah. Listen, do you want me to drive you over there, and then I can just wait and drive you home when you're done? Oh, no, thanks. But I really need to do this by myself, just me and my son. Of course. Um, call me if you have any issues. Oh, well. Thank you for today. Dinner was wonderful. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> you call me. If I don't hear from you, you'll see me at your door. Thank you for what you said today. Okay, you sure you're gonna be okay? I'm trying, Margot.